Today I want to talk about something a little different. Today I want to talk about the fear of death in modern society, and how it differs from the fear humanity experienced in ages past. I want to explore a little bit of how the capabilities and comforts afforded by such a society can create the greatest fear yet. Now we need to start this discussion with a little bit of philosophy, and for this subject I believe there is no better place to start than with Friedrich Nietzsche. Nietzsche was extremely opinionated when it came to the values of society. He lived in a time when the Christian religions were the prevailing force when concerning society's values. Were he alive today, he would likely argue that the effects of this force are still being felt. Nietzsche theorized that the Christian values of purity, meekness, obedience, and pity, which are the prevailing widespread themes that we still see today, led to a society that celebrates and encourages failure instead of success. Nietzsche imagined a world in which meaning was derived from the struggle to attain greatness. He wanted people to attain their greatest heights and to take whatever risks were necessary to get there. And this was also how he defined good and evil, with good being things that allowed you more power and evil being things that led to less power. And when Nietzsche refers to power, he really means being all that you can be, sort of a, a personal greatness, personal achievement. Now let's travel back in time to the age of prehistoric humans. Nietzsche's philosophy holds up really well when applied to this age, and I believe this is largely to do with the fear of death. See, the world was a much more dangerous place. And in these ancient times, death came about under many circumstances, such as starvation, sickness, murder, or just falling prey to a, a predator. These all share something in common. They are all natural occurrences. And the fear of death motivated one to attain more power in these times, in order to survive. A prehistoric Nietzsche would easily see things like hunting your own food as good, and things like accepting food from a neighbor to survive as evil, as the first increases your power, while the second encourages apathy and kills the will to strive and struggle for your own greatness. Now let's time travel again, but this time to modern society. And when I say modern society, I mean everything from the Industrial Revolution up to present day. And this is when the concerns of humanity shifted, and Nietzsche would argue that this resulted from Christian values. This is when we began to become more and more concerned with what to do with our free time, what to spend our money on, or how we will be remembered. The common man became educated and spends his time reading. And then, of course, media comes along, and today we're concerned with what movie is worth our time to watch. And these different concerns that come from a society which, on average, provides for all the basic needs of humanity, create a situation in which the struggle for power is no longer needed. One can just go through the motions and sort of coast through life while still attaining measurable success in the form of health, happiness, and even wealth. Of course, with all the great things of the modern age came the pervasiveness of the values of meekness and pity. There is a sense that we must be morally superior to our predecessors by not giving in to such things as greed, lust, and pride. And of course, this attitude naturally leads to the dreaded participation trophy, that most terrible of things which celebrates the mediocrity and comfort that our society now embodies. Now, I, you may say, you've gotten a little off track. I thought this was supposed to be about death. Well, it is. Allow me to tie it all together. The fear of death is what motivates humanity. It informs our culture, our values, and our society. However, throughout the ages, humanity has had different ways of expressing and coping with this fear. In our modern age, we have become so complacent that the mere thought of risk or danger is enough to keep most of us in our own little loop. 
We, are f we fear death, and so we are living as if we are already dead. Go to school. Don't stay up too late. Go to school. Eat your veggies. Graduate. Go to work. Get paid. Go to work. Go to the movies. Go to work. Go on vacation. Go to work. Have kids. Go to work. Buy a house. Go to work. Save for retirement. Go to work. Die. The first world, I think, could use a little more Nietzsche. We should celebrate those who succeed. We should hold aloft the strongest, the smartest, the fastest, laud the risk-takers and the non-conformists. You should fear death, but that fear should push you to reach the greatest heights of your own power that you can. Your envy should push you to achieve what you always wanted. Your pride should push you to create yourself in your own image. You only have one lifetime, and it doesn't last forever. I fear death, and so I have been living as if I am already dead.